These are so fun. Oh, they smell like The possibilities are endless. There has to be like nuclear chemicals on these things. Oh God. Lauren, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so number one, Vlogmas is starting in three days. Oh my god. Mentally and physically not entirely prepared. Vlogmas 2021 is officially happening, so if you haven't subscribed to the vlog channel, make sure to do so because I'm vlogging every day until Christmas. And baby, we are triple vax this year. Just got my booster, so I have so many fun things planned for Vlogmas. So that is happening. Get excited. And two, I'm a nosy bitch with an Amazon problem like let's just call it what it is and I high-key hope that this like becomes a thing because I'm I'm nosy and also like I would even just love to see what my friends have been ordering on Amazon like we're not talking the fun things on Amazon we're talking about like the everyday things on Amazon so I thought this video could be interesting entertaining it could end up being totally boring because I'm like oh here's the new Tupperware bowl set that I just bought this is definitely not like a here's my new Birkin here's my designer bag haul. This is like, here are the pimple patches that I love, and here are the new mittens that I bought for my Chicago Thanksgiving trip. So, without further ado, let's hop into my recent Amazon purchases. I didn't really do like a once-over of the things that I've been purchasing. Not that like I've been buying anything like bad, but like I'm curious at my own recent Amazon history. So, uh, here we go. 79 orders placed in the past three months. Please go check your Amazon and let me know how your order history compares to mine. Okay, I will say, because I'm realizing now that's probably going to be really high, I order a ton of video supplies on Amazon, and I think about how many things they ordered for like the Halloween costumes in October, which would be in that three month period. So, I'm going to give myself a little bit of an out because of video supplies. <laughs> Okay, so arriving today, I ordered a straightener to bring with me on our Chicago trip. I have the Dyson flat iron, but it is really, really heavy. Honestly, I ordered it because it had a shit ton of good reviews. So it's a two-in-one curling iron. I was looking for um, straighteners that have like the rounded outside because I curl my hair with a straightener. It was 60 bucks. TBD if it's good. I'll be back with a review. And like 9,693 ratings with an average of a four and a half star. Bitch, I'm in. So that should be coming today. We leave tomorrow at 6 a.m. So it's coming right in the nick of time. I feel like I probably should have like gone through this to be like, okay, like what are we going to talk about in this video? Did not prep whatsoever. I saw this game on TikTok and I was like, oh, I can't wait to play with my family at Christmas. It's called Incoherent, the party game where you compete to guess the gibberish. I'll try and give you an idea of what's happening on screen. So it's more than just me giving like a shitty example. Come heed at tea. Call me daddy. Call me daddy. <laughs> but I ordered this to bring back with me to Canada and I got two of them, one for LA and one for Toronto when I go back. If you've played Incoherent, please let me know because I am so excited. LED light strips, 82 feet. These are actually getting returned. I ordered these because I am a part of a gift stealing game at Christmas and I was like, oh, $25 limit, this is perfect. These are cute. But then it was like, Hmm, how many kids are there versus adults? Like, what if an adult gets stuck with them? They're not gonna want the LED TikTok kids strip lights. So I'm gonna swap that out for something else. Like, was a good idea at the time, but maybe not, maybe not. I'm gonna I'm gonna get some other options and uh, and I just don't think that's it. Mittens! These mittens are slapping. They're also fingerless so you can flip open the top of it so you can still use your phone. Super fuzzy, super warm, prepping for Chicago again. I know it's pretty chilly and I'm a little bitch when it comes to the cold, hence why I live in sunny LA now and not in the Arctic tundra of St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada. I'm being really dramatic, I totally get that. But mittens, so cute, 1970s. A plus purchase. Okay, for dramatic Christmas effects, we've got the Christmas tree going, fuzzy mitten in warm mode, and fuzzy mitten in text mode. I wish I had like a little bit more here, but like this part here, like this is sport mode. Like we're ready for action. We're ready for action. We're ready for action. Frames on Amazon are high key such a good purchase. Not only do I hate going to a store and like the store not having the frame size that I'm looking for, but then it's also like 
the awkward journey of carrying the frame out of the store and you like can't put it in a bag because it's too big and you're like worried about dropping it and the glass shattering and then stuffing it in your car but like what if it cracks during the car ride? It's a whole situation that is very stressful for me. So Amazon frames, every time I decorate or need to frame something, Amazon. This is basically just like a walking talking ad for Mr. Jeff Bezos. So I know we're not the biggest fan of, but the frames are good. The frames are good. Empty frame game, very strong. Waiting for art still. And here's the big frame I ordered. And this is uh, one of the NFTs that I own. So this one's framed and then just waiting on the art for these ones. Okay, these are the bowls that I was talking about that are so cute. Again, I'm also gonna link everything that I bought with like easy URLs in the description. If you happen to need cook with color plastic mixing bowls with lids, honestly, Great product, big fan, love a nesting moment in the kitchen. Moose, are you here to show off our bowls and our super unorganized little closet here? Great bowls, great bowls, right bubbies? Great bowls. This pimple acne patch has single-handedly changed my life, this brand specifically. Big fan of like the hydrocolloid acne patches in general with tea tree oil, that whole thing. These ones in particular, Personally, I think are the best, the Avarel ones. I put these on literally every single night, like on any patch, and bitch, like, life changing. Neutrogena T-Cell Therapeutic Scalp Shampoo. If you have psoriasis, this is my go-to shampoo. Purchased three times and it's six bottles. I go through this like crazy. I don't use purple shampoo even though I have blonde hair because this is the shit that keeps my scalp in check. Y'all already know that I am the biggest fan of this Galaxy light projector. I have one in our bedroom and I have one downstairs in the living room. I bought them for my Halloween party, but bitch, you gotta get the 2.0 too. The 1.0 is $10 cheaper. It is worth it to get the 2.0. It makes such a big difference. This is my favorite purchase of the entire last three months. I use it every single night. This shit has changed the vibes of my entire life and it gets dark so early now that like we need something to be excited about after 4 30 p.m when it's dark. Here's the galaxy lights. Let me zoom in so you can get the full vibe. Oh bitch. My fave, my literal fave. All I want to do is just stare at this for the rest of my life. Okay, so here's some uh, not very exciting things. I've got some glitter rhinestone letters and these are so fun. Oh, they smell like shit. Why do they smell so bad? Here's what they look like though. They're so fun. They just look so good on like any collage or any piece of artwork that has mixed media. Big fan, I've used these in past videos. They smell like shit though, so I'm gonna give you a heads up right now. Very, very cute, bling rhinestone letters, smell like ass. Very luxurious and bougie. A label tape replacement for my label maker. Oh, she bougie with it. <laughs> this is the category that I spend the most money on on Amazon is like the convenience, random, household, supplies items. Label maker though, a key to survival in any life. A dog nail clipper and trimmer set. Moose is really good about letting me um, file his nails and one of the groomers that he went to kind of gave him some ingrown nails and so I've been having to do like some at home Lord DIY grooming salon nail filing to kind of fix the situation. So again, only the most interesting of purchases. This next one, the Calming Cozy Sherpa Wrap Electric Heating Massaging Vibrating Footbed. I bought this actually for the last video and then the footage ended up being out of focus so I couldn't use it. Gonna be honest, it's $98 and it's not. That's like very expensive. That is way, 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 way too expensive. It's just like the bottom slipper portion that heats up and then it's just like a blanket attached to that. Decent product, not gonna return it, but like not worth it. Save your money, save your money. Okay, full live demo of the comfy cozy. This is the part that heats up down here. And then this is like the blanket that's attached to it. I feel like it's a little misleading because like I thought this was gonna have some kind of like warming effect as well too, but it's just this portion down here, which is like nice. Like don't get me wrong, like it's a good foot warmer. A foot warmer is a foot warmer. And then you have your little remote. We've got heat and then it's not a massage. Like this is just a vibration. Like, can you hear this? That is just straight up vibration. Realistically, I'm not gonna use that. Like, let's just turn this off. But the heat, yes, plus a blanket attached to it. Yes, I'm down. $98 though, not bad. Some breathable workout gloves in pink. Very cute. Some nori rice seasoning. This is my favorite rice seasoning in the entire world. My local Ralph's grocery store stopped carrying it, so now I um, just buy it in bulk on Amazon. Shoes, you can buy Steve Madden shoes on Amazon. Like, 
what? It just blows my mind. The opportunities, the possibilities are endless. I kept the rhinestone pumps, if you saw that in my semi-nudie photo shoot vlog. And then I returned those like ankle wrappy ones because I like the Steve Madden's better. I kind of want to like click a random page. So let's do an all of 21 and just, just, we'll just go for it. So let's go to the last page. Okay, wait, so this is January 6th. I'm trying to think of like, okay, what was happening in my life here? So we're still in the panini here. Oh, you know what? I know where I was. I know where I was in life. I was trying new possible ways to curl my hair, potentially with less heat. That Bumble and Bumble styling lotion, definitely a fan, still using it. Jumbo hair foam rollers, hate those, could not make those work for the life of me. Please let me know if there's a special trick that I just like need to unlock in my life because I cannot figure it out. An electric coffee grinder. I have no recollection of buying that. I don't drink coffee. A round brush for blow drying with natural boar bristle. I so badly, like so badly more than anything, want to be able to give myself a blow with a round brush. And it's just not in the cards. And I've accepted that and that's okay, but I want so badly, so badly to be able to do it and it's just, Maybe my next life. Let's go to like page 20 something and just see what we got. Here we go, March 27. This is like going back through history. I kind of have like a vague idea of like what was happening in my life during all of these like purchase history moments. So warheads, these are definitely still in my cupboard, but anxiety tip, one of the coping mechanisms and tools that I recently learned about is basically if you can overload one of your senses, it is a crazy like zero to a hundred. Like your brain can only focus on one thing, right? And so like if I'm spiraling with anxiety and I put a warhead in my mouth and my mouth and taste buds are like, holy shit, what is happening? It can be just enough to pull you out of that moment. Tried it a few times and March, like this is when I was really, really struggling with like figuring out my medication, was not in a good place. And this is uh, something that I used a few times and can definitely confirm that it was very, very helpful. Ugh. I knew I still had them. Here we go, blue raspberry. It's been a while. For the sake of this video, I'm really, I'm really committing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just gotta get past that first part. That first layer of sour. Mm -hmm. Woo. Oh God, there has to be like nuclear chemicals on these things. Oh God, for the video, for the video, full send. Some exfoliating loofah, luffa, loofa bath brush on a stick. I love the SEO here to be like, okay, how do we think people spell loofah? So it gives you all the options there. Didn't love this product, was not a reorder. Aquaphor healing ointment, dry skin moisturizer, dry hands, heels, elbows, lips, all the things. It is my favorite like nighttime lip mask. I know that there are so many like real cosmetic products that are supposed to be for lip masks, but personally, Aquaphor is my fave. The Kong Wobbler, oh my god. This is one of the products that has changed my life and Moose's life. He is a pup who eats at light speed to the point that it's like a little bit dangerous. So I've tried out so many different methods of doing like slow feeding techniques. And this one is so cute and so fun. Okay. It just like rolls and wobbles all over the house and like spills out little kibbles as it does its thing. I know Moose would probably prefer to just like eat his kibble in six seconds, but this is definitely a healthier alternative that also is like some enrichment as well. Oh my God, I want people to do this video so bad because this is like the most random combination of things. Some fitted sheets, California king size, just in white, big fan, we just got a new bed. The iPhone camera lens. So here's a photo that I've actually taken with this lens. It's actually so sick for less than 20 bucks. Big fan of this lens. If you're like looking for that like fisheye effect, this widening the lens is incredible. And let's finish this video on something just so incredibly random. Some belly button rings. I actually took my belly button piercing out not that long ago, so she is naked now. But I remember being like, oh my god, these are so cute. The one with like the little skull hand is maybe like a little bit too much. That very much gives like Mia Sayoko, but for me that's like a little bit too hardcore. But um, definitely cycled through a few of these before I took it out. And honestly, like I regret taking it out. I miss it a lot and my belly button feels very naked. I got it when I was 16. So I had it in for 12 years. I tried to re-pierce it, but I was being a big old baby. And it's like such a weird feeling, like putting something sharp uh, through like your stomach. The re-piercing portion of that whole situation was not for me. I know some people can just like 
shove sharp things through their body whenever they want to repair something, but it's just, it's just not for me. So we will have to end that era of the belly ring. You know, I'm 28. Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to sub over on the vlog channel for Vlogmas starting in three days. There are four new episodes of Craftopia streaming on HBO Max and Crave Canada. You can also use a VPN to watch on either platform if you are international. And I will see you guys on Tuesday for a new episode of the pod over on the vlog channel for Vlogmas and on Sunday for another video. Bye guys!